Hi and welcome to Commission Lee. This demonstration is to show you how to get set up for the first time, import some data, get your settings um, up and running, and then to have a look at a commission report. Let's sign in. So we'll start by clicking on the settings icon. It's the gears icon in the top right hand corner. Complete your profile, add a profile pic, any other information, set your time zone, complete your company profile. You can add your company logo as well. Start by adding some users. Now we've already got some users that have been added to our system. Uh, if you're on the trial version, you will be limited to a certain number of users. Let's add a user. We choose the template. I'm going to select the template payee. Sharon will be a payee. The system will send an invitation to invite them to Commission Lee. If they haven't received it, just make sure that the email address is correct and then click resend. You have the option to add teams and territories. If we just add a team, we'll call it account managers and we will assign Juliet as the team lead. We can save that. We want to add some team members. We'll assign Emma and Mike. We'll click on save and they are now added to the team. We can also add territories. This could be United States and you might have another one, Europe. You can select a parent territory as well so you can start to create stacked territories or we'll click on save and then of course you can add members to those territories as well so Sam and Raul might be in the United States or Europe sorry Emma and Mike are in the uh, United States if there were parent territories those would be listed here we'll go to access manager you'll have a combination of access templates predefined you can edit those so you can see this is a simple payee they have full access in this case to all the data. Now our system works slightly differently in that there is a CRM element to the system. However, it does not need to be used. It's just the way we store our data. We believe it's really intuitive and simplifies things. If you have payees that do not have access to a CRM and want to be able to add opportunities, this gives them that facility. Now, you can restrict what access they have. For example, you wouldn't have a payee have access to all of this information. Only uh, administrators would have access to targets, commissions, and data. But a payee might have access to companies, people, opportunities, uh, perhaps not products. And you can set all of those values here. Within an opportunity, you have a product sub-tab. You can choose whether or not you allow payees to update that information or whether that is all controlled by the data import as the administrator. So if you did not want them to be able to modify that, just deselect, save, and they will no longer be able to do it. You can create as many templates as you like. Um, for You can assign an, a template to an in individual um, or to a group of people. You are able to do some customization for the various modules that we have. So if we look at the field manager, these are predefined fields, opportunity name, you can change the order in which they display, you can add new fields, they can show in lists, you can make them grouped. Um, and there are different types of fields um, you can add as well. Just to have a quick look at subscription, you will have the option to you have a have an option already that's available um, you can go and modify the subscription that you have we discount for annual payments but you have an, a monthly option as well so that's it that's for settings you're all ready to go let's dive in and start setting up some targets and commissions we'll set up a basic revenue target our system is really simple to use. It is all wizard based. 
you have a number of target types that you can select from unit sales product category sales profit or sales revenue we're going to do sales revenue let's say we'll set a target of 50,000 click on next we'll select the target group it could be individual it can be team it can be territory we'll select a team and we'll call it inside sales you can multi select by holding down control you have an option for the target period you can either set a fixed date range or you can have a recurring target and this can be weekly fortnightly calendar month calendar quarter calendar year Obviously, if you're looking for something outside of these dates, you would just use the fixed target date. We'll select a calendar month. You need to set a commencement date. So this is basically backdating the commission that will run, how far it will go back before it starts to run this commission. We'll start last month. Great. Target is successfully added. Let's create a commission scheme. basic revenue commission of course you can call it whatever you like now we are assigning it to the target group you can create a new commission at any time and then assign it to a pre-existing target group we've chosen to do this against uh, revenue or profit as you can see it can be fixed amount per order per product per product category you can even add prizes We'll do it against total sales revenue. As mentioned, if you want to do it against profit, um, you will need to use our products tool. We'll assign the commission as a percentage of the sale, but you can also do it as a fixed amount. We're going to be quite generous. We'll have three tiers. We'll start those tiers at 50% of target up to 99% of target, and we will pay 1.5%. From 100% to 119%, we will pay 2%. And anything above 120%, we don't do cap commissions here at Commissionly, so we will select no upper tier limit, and we will pay 5% for that range. We'll click on Save Commission, and that's done. So we now have a target and a commission set up. The only problem is we have no data. So we will select data. You can start by importing companies, people and products first. So if you have that information already in your CRM or ERP, you can import that first. When you import the opportunities, the system will automatically detect that the product person or company exists and will allocate it to that record. If you are importing opportunities data first and you have um, an owner or a, so a client or a customer and they are not in the system already, it will automatically create a company record for that client or customer. So even if it's a person, you will need to move that uh, to a people record to make it appear in the right section. It might not be important to you. So before we do our import, let's have a look at our CSV. Most importantly, you must contain your field names in the first row. You must have an opportunity name, which is a combination or an identifier from your CRM or ERP. This is just so you can refer back um, to your system to know which order you are talking about. A parent, that can be an individual, it can be a company. The order type, the owner, that needs to be an active user within Commissionly, so it knows who to assign it to. Status 1 is used uh, in our system to identify that the deal is closed. So you will need to have status and it will need to be set to status 1. Of course, you can very easily update this in a spreadsheet. The one date, this is the required date format. So it must be year as four characters, month as two characters, as day as two characters. The system will warn you if you don't have it in the correct format, um, but it won't work correctly if you import it with the incorrect format. You can have product and quantity. 
Um, this allows you to do product unit sales commissions um, and product category commissions as well. Once these are imported, you can set their category. You can have, um, what well, you need a deal value. This is the amount of the, the value of the total value of the sale that the commission will be paid against. You don't, you're not required to have product quantity, product and quantity, but as long as you have deal value, everything should process correctly. So I'm going to select the CSV file and I'm going to continue. Now it's giving me a quick example of the data. An important one, is the date format correct? Yes, it is. There would be a big red alert if that is not correct. Now I can go through and manually select which fields I want to assign this to. I can select from an existing, I can create a new field. I can add the data to an existing field, but I'm just going to use suggest. And as you can see, it's already selected the correct values for me. Everything looks fine. Okay, it's detected a product name. So it's just telling me that you are, if you are adding an individual product line to the opportunity, then deal value should be the value of the individual product sales and not the overall uh, opportunity. I'm going to click import and wait for this to load. So this is now importing, it's creating the company's record, it's creating the product's record, it's creating the opportunities record. It's telling me what it's successfully created. That's great. What we'll do is we'll go to the scorecard quickly. Now we are looking at Patrick McCarthy's scorecard. It's still to be calculated. There's no data available. However, we do have some information about the opportunities that are in the system for the current month. So the blue bar is my performance data or the person who is selected performance data. If I change the pay, let's say I change it to Raul, this is now Raul's, the blue lines are now Raul's performance information. The green line is the average team performance. So Raul is slightly above average. Well, he's well above average. Um, and that's just something to encourage salespeople and payees to see how other people are performing by seeing how other people fulfill. So uh, we want to be able to see how much commission we're going to be paid. Now, as the administrator, what you'll need to do is you'll need to go to the commission list and you will need to run the commission schedule. You click on update commission values. As you can see, very quickly processed. Your commission date has been processed. If we go back to the scorecard, now we can see that, remember this commission was set to start in July. So it's processed those commission payments for the last two months. And we can see that Raul is due a payment of 2,517.50. The target that he's currently, he's at 197% of that target. So he's sold 98,500 against a 50,000 target. You have some other options here, a comparative. This is for the data below to see how he is performing against a team or a ter territory. Of course, you can quickly flip through to other payees and see how they are performing. This is as the administrator. Mike Smith has nothing calculated. He's not allocated against one of these targets. But as you add new and additional targets, they will start to see information. Finally, let's have a look at the commission's report. This is the detailed report that you will need. What you can do is you can see all of the commissions in a sheet. You can print these out. You can print it to PDF. So the value, the commencement date, the current range that it's looking at. The system will automatically detect the periods that are available. So I can go back to the previous period. You can see now it is applied to July. And these are the commission payments that are due. And that's the end of our overview. I hope this has proved very useful to get you started. If you have any issues or any questions, don't hesitate to contact us at support at commissionly.io. Otherwise, use our live chat tool on our website. There is always somebody there willing to help.